Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about customer quotes and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is put together a customer quote to send out through the mail or through email. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Also, I want to let you know, this is a free and quick option. There's actually a lot of different ways you can put together a customer quote, but today I'm going to show you how you can do it for free in your free Canva account. But why would you need to send out a customer quote anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're just starting your business, you know that sometimes your customers require you to send them a quote before you can get the project started. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process handled in your free Canva account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Canva account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to put together a customer quote, all you're going to do is right here on the left, click on create a design. Once you do that, you want to click on docs, D-O-C-S, and then click on this turquoise doc button. Okay. So once you do that, Canva is going to open up a document. It's going to be a blank document. Don't worry. We're going to go ahead and just add a template. So here on the left, we're going to hover over template. And then once you do that, it's going to open up this search bar. So here you want to go ahead and just type in customer quote. Well, for some reason, it's pulling up customer profiles. Let's go ahead and just type in quote. Okay. That looks better. So doc template. So let's go ahead and click on see all. Okay. So now you can see all of the different customer quotes that are available. So you can see there are quite a few. Most of them are free, but if they have a crown right here, or if they have a dollar sign, there will be a cost associated with that. So we can choose this one. This one says insurance quote. This one's a sales quote. Let's go ahead and use this one sales quote. Okay. So now you can see the custom auto populates into our document. And then it's also showing other versions of it. So you can go ahead and look through here and see if you like these a little more for me, this one looks good. So I'm going to close this down. Okay. Now we can go ahead and start editing our customer quote. So let's see here. First off, looks like this is the name life catch or cash. So if you hover over these, you can see that you can just click into these and then change it. So we'll change this one to nine zero zero six, and then we'll just double click on this California, Maine. And then maybe we're going to send this out to somebody named Michael. Okay. And then if you scroll down a little bit, we can go ahead and make edits on here. So it's just like setting up a Facebook page. You can go ahead and switch it around as you see fit. If you don't like this little banner up here, you can go ahead and just make sure the purple dot is around it. And then you just kind of click delete or you can click the trash can right here and that's deleted. And then here we can go ahead and make adjustments. So maybe they're buying a roofing replacement and the price is going to be $10,000. You just change that quantity, just double click. And then we'll do one subtotal. We'll just do 10,000. Okay. And then maybe we don't have any other items. So we'll just go ahead and delete these by clicking on these three dots, delete row, delete row. And we're going to delete these last two rows. Okay. So we deleted all the rows and then we'll change the subtotal 10,000 tax zero. So the total is going to be 10,000. Okay. Here you can go ahead and update the terms of service or the terms and conditions. If you have that And here, you can change your name. So this is coming from Anthony and I'm not a sales manager. We'll just do manager here. You can go ahead and update the date 24. Okay. So it's looking pretty good as a customer quote. Now, the cool thing about Canva is you can go ahead and add different elements. So let's see here. Let me move myself out of the way. So there's this kind of blank spot up here. You can go ahead and click over here on element and then you can drag these little stickers. So like this one's a dollar sign. So maybe we'll drag that one right over here. Uh, that doesn't look good. So we'll just drag it up above there. Okay. So that looks better. Also, I want to let you know that once you start editing all of this and it's already set up, you're not going to have to make these small changes anymore, but of course you're still going to have to go in and edit the product that you're selling, the price, update the totals and the customer information. But aside from that, this is going to be much quicker the next time you set up your customer quote. Now, if you want to add any kind of pictures, you're just going to go over here and click on upload. And then you can grab any pictures that you might've already put into your Canva. So I just have these two pictures. If not, you can go ahead and upload an image from your computer and then save it here to your Canva storage. And then maybe we can go ahead and grab this picture, drag it on over. Okay. So now that just placed it up above the dollar sign. So we'll shrink that down and maybe we want that instead of the dollars. So we'll click here. Okay. So overall that looks pretty good as a customer quote for me. So lastly, I want to go ahead and change the name of this to customer quote, Anthony. All right. That way I can reference it later when I want to send out another customer quote. Let me move myself out of the way. All right. Lastly, what you want to do is click on share here on the top, right? And then click on download. Okay. Now you want to choose the file type. You can do a word document or you can leave it at a PDF. Okay. And then I'm going to click on download. Okay. So here is what my customer quote looks like that we just put together. So I can go ahead and email this out to my customer, or I can go ahead and even print it out and drop it in the mail. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to put together a customer quote for free using your free Canva account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.